Hey, welcome back to the channel. I've had a couple of questions in regards to the INI file, so this video I'll be going over that. We'll be talking about what is the INI file, where does it go when one is provided from other players, how to load it after launching BMS, what the load button is, and how to create an INI file for others to use or TE that you create. So the INI file is a file that is uh, has the the suffix of INI, so I call it an INI file, and they are located in your data. If it's regular KTO, it'll be campaign. If it's any other theater, it'll be in these, in the campaign folder of that theater that you're using. So for this example, I'm using regular KTO, so I'm going to go into campaign. Find your, your file in here, so I'm going to be using the 4.36 or 436 FAM. Click on that. Usually I have it open up with or as a open with notepad because it's a lot easier to read so it, here it is a notepad has the title right here has your targets as these second lines keep on going down has other targets that you set inside of bms has the pre-planned threat circles so here's the sa2 sa5 another sa5 and sa2 and some hawks in between this is the circles that you have on your 2d and there's some more circles that can be placed here's your steer point lines so the lines that you could place like either on the border or on the coast or something like that so it's those lines that you have right there down here it has the weapon targets these are specifically for the the uh the spice bombs need these for the spice bombs and that's just about it that's what a ini file is so someone give you an ini file and ideally you would load the ini file before you start bms so to load the ini file you just go to your campaign folder depending on if you're in regular KTO or another campaign. So if you're in regular KTO, it'll just be campaign. If you're any, in any of these other theaters, you would choose that theater and put it in campaign. But for this example, it'll just be regular KTO. So you have the file, you go to campaign, put that into the campaign folder, and then you launch BMS and it'll be there. Once you launch BMS after putting the INI file into the folder, you can go to either a tactical engagement or campaign. Go to cap tactical engagement, click on online because you'll be going online. But in this case, I have a saved here. You would go to online, choose the session in there, click on the session, go to commit, and it'll populate inside of your 2D. If you do not have that in there, you can do the following. Let's say that someone is giving you a INI file so you could use in mission. So here's the mission that you're going to use. You're in this mission, and there's there's nothing here, and you need an INI file. So being that you already started BMS, all you have to do is go back once. You go back. You grab the INI file that the uh, the the person making the the campaign or TE has given you. You go to your campaign folder if it's if it's regular KTO. You go to your install folder data and campaign just place that into your campaign folder once that's placed in there you can go back into the it'll be online you can go back into that and you would just click on the online session press commit and there's all the circles there that's all you have to do for putting in the INI file into your your folder so sometimes I hear people saying you should press load I wouldn't really use that because that's sporked my settings a couple times I had to restart my uh, my settings and my data cartridge data cartridge so I'll just say just go back once put the file into the into the folder then go back into the game and mission schedule and it should work out after that and once you do have it inside of your campaign folder you move it over here go into the game make sure you press your actual seat press your seat and do the click dance make sure you do your your iff do that do that and then press save so the moment you get in here so you know that everything is good so in, in regards to people giving you ini files so i specifically put a underscore underneath the file the te's that i make because if you have a space in there Discord automatically puts in a underscore, and that could mess up your the, the naming uh, similarities between the two. Because your your 
PE or campaign has to match your INI file so so it could correlate it and 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 show it on your in the 2D. So I put an underscore underneath there. Other people just don't put spaces, so Discord can't put anything in between uh, the spaces because there's no space. So just remember that Discord automatically puts the underscores on there, and there are two ways to do that: is if you save it as an underscore or save it with no spaces. So now I'm going to show you how to create INI files for others. This is in TE. So I created this TE here. I'm going to go to Edit. Go inside of the mission here. So I'm going to go to the the flight that I want to see. You don't have to be in the same flight to get these threat circles here. So all you have to do is make all your threat circles, make your adjustments, add some stuff, add some steer point lines, and do all that stuff you want to do. So after you after you do that, you would press this button right here. This is the, the I guess, save INI file. And it'll save the INI file that you created in, in Falcon. For, and it'll name it the same name as your as the name of the of the the file the file name. So you click that, it'll save it, it'll put it in your campaign folder. So once you save it, save your save your engagement as well or your campaign. Make sure you save all that, and then go to that same uh, directory, data campaign, find it, find it in here, and you can just get this slide it over to discord or google chrome or not google chrome, google drive and people can download it and they should be good to go so for a campaign mission you would go to the campaign go to either your saved campaign or online so i'm just going to go here so i'm going to go to pre press commit goes inside of your campaign and now you could put all of the threat circles you want and just make sure you're in a seat would have all the threat circles in there and just do the click dance as normal iff that com plan press save and that will do the same thing and it'll put the campaign name inside of your campaign your, your campaign folder whatever you named it right here so that's how you would create an ini file for a campaign mission that you would like to share with people. I hope you learned something. Uh, this is how you use the INI file for the for Falcon BMS and very helpful so that people don't have to make these 14 different threat circles inside of their game. They could just have a file and put it in there. But until next time, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something and see you in the next one. See ya.